President Donald Trump has notched something historic in his presidency, this afternoon, he vetoed his first piece of legislation. But before Friday's veto, there was another one, of sorts. The decision to nix Boeing's 737 MAX planes from the nation's skies for now. The plane sort of veto came after nations around the world halted use of the Boeing planes after a second one crashed on Sunday killing all 157 on board. While bans in Europe and Asia began, being instituted early in the week, it took the Trump administration until Wednesday to act when officials said they had received new information that led them to the decision. That came after Trump on Tuesday questioned the amount of technology needed to fly airplanes on Twitter. Trump's actual veto struck a bit close to home. In true Trumpian fashion, the bill had something to do with him. The Democratic sponsored resolution sought to fell Trump's declaration of a national emergency at the southern border. After it passed the House, the Senate on Thursday also passed it, with 12 Republicans voting with the Democrats. Trump doubled down on his veto power, complete with a camera filled event to mark the occasion Friday. Even after the Senate vote Thursday, Trump left no mystery as to what he planned to do next, tweeting, Veto, 